All right, remember the 40 horse, ladies and gentlemen? There she is. Oh, 40 horse. And what's the story on the boat again? It was in a movie? Yes, it was. You got it from Universal? Uh, Hollywood Studios, man. They did a, uh, uh, this was in the actual movie called Hard Rain with uh, Hard Morgan, Rain. Morgan Freeman, man. Wow. And, uh, that's why you see these welds here. Right. But on this side, you'll see where they shot the boat and everything in the movie. Wow. And then them dents there, they actually are better because they was really dented. That's when a part of a uh, of, uh, structure fell on top of that. All right. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, man, hard rain. Morgan Freeman, man. This is sweet yeah, boat. You see, you see where the all the bullet holes and everything right here? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real, real bullets, huh? Yeah, they did something because <laughs> whatever they use, they, they may hold on it. Here's what's going on. You said the motor always fires up and everything, but when, once you got it in the water, it's not going full speed. Right. All right, so we just went over and looked at a couple things. Um, what had happened was he bought the motor from me, and I still was using the trim on something else, the 55, I think it was. Yeah. And then, you had, I had this and then he there. had the pin still in here on the top. So that might have something to do with, you know, you can't trim up the motor up and down. And that may be why he, he didn't, he's not getting any speed out of it. And then we'll check the throttle. He's got the old school throttle. Yeah. And we'll see where everything is lining up. And uh, should be good to go. All right, man. This is a sweet boat. Yeah, you man. know, nice right. and... Nice and wide. Oh yeah. Comfortable, man. Yeah. Five people, you know. Wow. Five people, 725 pounds, man. Wow. Yeah. Now remember the um that transom part that I brought you? Yeah, it's well, still over this, here. Right. Well, this is the other part that I was telling you that was connected. This. Right. You know. So yeah, I did a little. Like I said. did a little shot on the that transom piece you brought, which I'll do it again. This, if you watch that movie Hard Rain, this piece right here is still connected to the boat on the transom. And I said, well, maybe they were using this to like hoist it out of the water and stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, man. You got a movie boat. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the movie star right there. Man. What well, in the movie? I gotta check it out. What motor did they have on it in the movie? Did it show? It, yeah, it was a big. A, oh, I can't. Oh, it was a fake motor, right? Yeah, it was a yeah, fake that's motor. Right. Yeah, it was a prop. Yeah, because when I so got it, and then like that's what no I was motor. saying too. Maybe they were using these these mounts to like drag this thing around or something because it didn't really have a real motor. And that's the thing, man. I mean, obviously that's Hollywood, man. You know, they do all kinds of stuff, but if they was dragging it, boy, they did a hell of a job. And then, and then it, yeah, in the movie, it, it's. Yeah. And then he had a problem getting the title, and how how did that work out again? Man, I, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Riley, man, from uh, Florida Wildlife, man, he actually did all the all the paper um, all the paper. He went and talked to. Uh, you know, uh, Hollywood Studio, the people that actually uh, donated the boat to me, and he got all the letters and everything they needed and mailed wow. it to me, and I went and got it registered, man. And after how did years, you man, how did you get them to donate the boat to you? Well, it's, it's crazy because my buddy, he's he's a mechanic, which he's right here off of Lance uh, Lance Street. Universal at one point had that whole warehouse side. Uh, full of all kinds of uh, like the movie, like like the Terminator motorcycles, all that was all in there. The, all the props. Yeah, all the props and everything. I mean, but yeah, man. So that's how I, I got this, man. But I, I mean, I mean, how one. did you go over there and then they gave it to you? Well, we had um, um, my buddy uh, Victor. He knew the guy personally, and he was saying that they was gonna move the warehouse uh, or all the stuff from the warehouse. So they was um. Uh, getting rid of stuff that they was never gonna use again. Right. And one he of called them. me, man. I actually had this one and the sheriff boat to the movie, and I donated. I donated the sheriff boat. Really? Yeah. 
I have both of them, man. Wow. Yep. But believe me, if I would have knew then what I know now, I would have kept both of them. Man. Yeah. What? What's the? Um, what's the? Name of the bow, the brand. Do you know the brand name? Just curious. Uh, I mean, all we have is this information, the holes and all that. You What's know? it say on the title? Um, actually, I have the. I mean, you don't have to take it all out yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. I was just curious if you knew what it was. Yeah, man. Holes Inc. Manufacturer model SC-14 Holes Inc. All right. What the yeah, hell? Man. It's sweet. All right, let's get it in the water. We got big rain, crap, storms happening today, so we need to get in and out of here by one o'clock, I think. All right, baby. Here's the uh, the ramp, and it's already getting busy. Plus, there's all this softball stuff going on. The parking lot is packed. All right, we're running into a little situation here where this cable is a little bit short. The motor may not go down all the way. He thought it was down in the water, but it's still got a ways to go. See, it's not its not even moving now. The trim might need a little push on it. Hit the, hit the trim again. All right, back down, back down. It's getting stuck right there. It is off, right? No, nah, you can leave it on. Okay. Well, I mean... I mean, you can take it off. It doesn't matter either way, but... Actually, it might be better to leave it on so I can push on this while you hit the button. If something's hanging it up. She, she went down a little bit farther. And there's a little bit of slack left in this. Yeah, something is wrong. I mean, because it was going all the way down. Well, hit it again while I push on it. All right, back down. There. No, it doesn't want to go. Ah. You think it might be that lock that might be in the wrong place? This is loose. So that's not sticking it's weird because I mean this thing was fun oh, yeah. this thing was going all the way down to the pin there's nothing on that side it looks weird or anything no unless if we're unless we're hitting the ground <laughs> are we it could be that man it's, it's I know it's shallow up. as hell Huh? I know now his motor's all the way down. Do it again, hit it again. Stop. You know, it gets to that point and sticks. Uh, shit. Right, right. Do it again, up and down, real quick. Let me see, I'll push on it again. All right, back down. Damn, man. It doesn't want to go. I don't know why, if something is hanging up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, right here. That freaking bolt is hitting. Oh, okay. How okay. is that happening? That's never... Push it in. Push oh. it in. Oh, I can see because it's yeah. loose. Yeah, push it in. All right, go ahead. Watch your finger. I'm watching. Son of a gun. I knew. I was like, come on. All this right, thing now we're going. down. We got a little. We got a little cable, but man, you're not gonna be able to turn very sharp. All right, fire this baby up. All right, man. <laughs> well, got the choke. All right, did you prime it up with the bulb and stuff? Uh, let me check. Yeah, she's, she's tight. Yeah, she's Go ahead and hold that primer in.
It never fails, right? I it just... Come on, baby. It never fails. He says this thing fires right up all the time. No problems. You get it over here. I turn it on every day at home with no problem. It gets to the lake and I want to act up. Even that. Man, I, I mean... All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, yeah, that's weird. That's weird. It didn't turn it on with no problem. Damn, man. Yeah, it's flooded. I can see a rainbow in the water now. Uh... It's you know one of those situations this thing fires up all the time. You get yeah. it in the water and it don't want fire. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Two boats. I mean I do it just like you with the bucket and everything fires right up and then I come here and now. Well, you see how we flooded it. All the what, what, what brand is that? Johnson. This is a Johnson I 40. Think I got a Johnson and it floods real easy. It's a tiller. Um Look at it still dripping out. You got your kill switch off? Yeah, everything's off. Unless that kill switch ain't working. Is that is that a new one or is that? No, that's, that's it's the one you've been using. Huh? You have a choke? Yeah, we've been looking. It's flooding. We primed the hell out of it. It's one of those situations, he fires it up at home all the time, gets it down here and it won't start. <sighs> well, there's two options. We can move it out of the way so people can get in here and put it on this side and or take it out of the freaking water. Yeah. I mean, this is... Thanks, guys. Uh, what so, do you want to do? You think, you think we might be able to do something in front of your house or something? Yeah. Cause I mean, it's kind of weird, man. What yeah, go get happened? to go. Well, yeah, it's just flooding all over the place. Oh, man, I can't believe this. I can't either. We'll probably get it out, get it home, and it'll fire right up. Yeah. All right, we're back at my house. He was telling me there were some issues with the key switch, and they swapped it out, and the new switch was broken. They put the old one back in. I got a funny feeling. It's not getting any spark, but we'll test it and find out. Right now, let it dry out, all that gas and everything. I don't want to go anywhere near it with a spark. <laughs> so I know what I'll do. I'll put my timing light on it. And we don't have to worry about anything blowing up. All right, give it a shot. Nothing. Do it again. Nothing. I bet you it's got and you're on, switch. you're on, you're on the battery right, right? Everything yeah, negative, 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 positive, positive. Yeah. So it's probably in that switch. I bet you. I bet you. Now right. here's the alternative too. You know, you, you don't have to use this. This can be wired up for push button kill, like old school. You know, like on a tiller. You know. Just take the two wires off that go to the kill. Does that thing have all the letters on the back of it? Yeah, and actually, my son actually wrote the letters on the side so we could identify right. them. Yeah, I got the pictures. I should have them still on my phone for reference. Um, but that can be wired up for, you know, screw that freaking lanyard. Unless you really want the lanyard. Also, you can buy this without the key to do the lanyard. That type of kill switch. All right, so we got a no spark situation. I would disconnect the battery and let's pull the friggin' key switch out and see what's going on. You know, it's not impossible. Kill it here? Yeah, it's not impossible that the wire could be switched loose. I think that's what it is, man. Yeah. I think that's what happened. All right. That, on Friday, we, like I said, we put the new one in 
and he was just popping the switches all you know these out one by one so I, I don't know if he because I know when he originally did that two of the wires were not um now, now all those wires you got yellows and reds right mm -hmm. but but that's not color coded well it is here. where's the yeah there that's what i'm yeah, looking right for here. the purple the red right. i would take to take the thing out you need some pliers to get the nut off yeah just yeah all right so we redid the wiring on the keys try for spark again here see when you first hook this thing up which is cool it flashes one time to let you know it's got power okay so you good there yeah man Try. Nothing. Try it again. Nothing. Do you have the kill switch thingy on? Yeah. Pull the um, the two, the black and the black and yellow off for the kill. Might need that one black on. Take the black and yellow off. Put the black ground back on. Black and yellow's out. The, the, the solid black is back on. Alright, let's try it again. Thank God. Put it back. I put that kill thing back. What was it? Good thinking. This freaking key is no good. Not good. I mean, so we bypassed the kill switch and it and it fired right up. Hopefully we didn't burn up the impeller. <laughs> and it's revving like hell. Where's that throttle at? Remember we was messing with it though. So. Holy shit. So now I wonder if we could put something and you had the little lanyard in the, in it, right? Yeah, then I, I took it out, but... It still kept going because yeah, we had it disconnected. Yeah. How about we try it now that everything's connected? It's here and woke the shit up. <laughs> no, it's, it's not going to fire with the lanyard on it. All right, let's see. And then get ready to disconnect it. Ready? That key's no good. Holy shit, that woke my ass up, not to mention blew my eardrums out again. All right, now it's working again with the lanyard on. I wonder if it had a... I don't know if I... Maybe it wasn't pushed in correct all the way in, or...? Well, I would... Trust me, I would not trust it. Yeah. No, it's I'm, I'm going to get a new one. You know, all this time now, and now it's working again with the lanyard on. Oh, man. It's just, it's, what's happening is, stop, stop cranking it because you're going to burn up this damn impeller. The connection inside that key is, is intermittent. You could be out in the middle of the lake and you you know, if you didn't, you didn't know to disconnect it, you wouldn't know how to freaking start the thing if it happens, just like it happened at the dock. Yeah. So I mean we could we could we could try going to uh West Marine and we have them we we'll just buy it right now, man. Yeah, I mean you, you know? could call them up if you want before before we go to make sure they have one in stock, but I'd be pretty sure they do. It's right down the road here on Lee Road. Yeah, it's literally right there by the Home Depot. Right in front of Home Depot. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm telling you, it never ends. It's always something. Yeah, the, the outboard set. Huh? The outboard guys, man. Yeah. They're screwing with us today. Woo-hoo-hoo! You know the channel.